What's up you guys? I hope y'all are doing so good today. Today I have a summer to fall styling tips video. I've got five easy ideas for you guys to incorporate your summer wardrobe and your fall wardrobe together to navigate this funky in between weather when it's like kind of warm and not quite too cold yet. A lot of these things you guys may have already in your closet, so we're just gonna mix and match and I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Today's video is also sponsored by Express. I'm gonna be featuring some of their newest arrivals for the fall season in some of my examples today. As always, everything mentioned in today's video will be down below in that description box. I love you guys so much and on that note, Let's get started. All right, so styling tips one or two are kind of like plays off each other. Tip number one is one of my favorites. Combine your thick sweater knits with a pair of lightweight bottoms. Essentially, you're just trying to mix different weights of fabric so that things don't feel too heavy. I love the look of this because I'm already excited to be whipping out my fall sweaters. It looks so cozy and oversized and paired with more flowy, lightweight things on the bottom really gives a nice balance for that in-between weather. Some examples is an oversized sweater with a light, flowy skirt, whether it's pleated or maybe a silk midi skirt. For a more casual option, you can also do a sweatshirt with a pair of satin joggers. If you're into jeans, you can squeeze out the last of your summer denim and do some rip style jeans with a sweater. Or one of my favorites, style a cute little mini skirt that shows off the legs, pair it with a cute sweater, and then you can finish things off with a really cute pair of boots. Essentially, we're just trying to mix and match different weights of materials so that you're utilizing the best of both worlds and it still feels balanced and not too heavy before the cold weather sinks in. Tip number two is to pair a lightweight top with a heavier pair of bottoms. Some of my favorite picks for a lightweight top option is doing something sleeveless like a tank top, or if you want something more full coverage, go with a beautiful billowy blouse. One of my favorite pieces that I've been styling is a mock neck sleeveless sweater. I feel like it is so professional and polished and you have like the stretchy, comfortable feeling of a sweater with a little bit of neck coverage, but the sleeveless makes it feel really comfortable whenever it's still like 70 degrees outside. Pair that with a sleek pair of trousers and that is a beautiful look that you can rock in a professional or regular setting. And similar with a sheer blouse, you can pair that with a heavier pair of like pants. Faux leather and leather pants are super in right now and I feel like the juxtaposition between the romantic and like the tough edgy leather is a really cool mix together. Or another favorite option is pairing a lightweight top with a sweater or knit ribbed skirt. This is another really popular popular thing I've been seeing lately and I feel like it's so comfortable and elegant and feminine and you definitely get that warm snuggly feeling of a knit but on the bottom half of the body <laughs> or for something super casual you can even do like a cute little cami with some joggers whatever you choose to do a heavier on the top or the bottom experiment have fun with it point is to just squeeze out as many looks as possible with both the summer and fall wardrobes together for unique combinations idea number three is to utilize dresses and and your booties together. I feel like this combination is so cute, whether you're doing a short dress with some over the knee or knee high booties, or you're doing a longer dress with your shorter, chunkier ankle booties. This is the time to combine those two things together. Some of my favorite styles is a sweater or knit style dress. You can definitely utilize these over and over again throughout the fall and winter by pairing it with like full bottoms. But right now when it's not super cold, dresses look so cute paired with those boots, especially showing them off. Or the other option is to go for something light and flowy and romantic. I think it gives such new life to your summer dresses that you kind of been pairing with like sandals or heels or really skimpy things. And if it starts to get cold outside, this dress and booty combo looks so cute with a cropped jacket. I think it's a perfect, adorable look. Number four, start off with either a cami or a basic white tee, throw on your favorite pair of jeans, and then top it with a third piece of outerwear. In terms of camis, I think Express has like the best options. All their v-neck options are so lightweight and breezy. They're staples in my closet and definitely a really great starting base, especially if you're more in the warmer weather. Tuck that into your favorite jeans and you've got a really great foundation for any outerwear you layer on top. It's a hit every time. <laughs> Depending on where you live or what your style is, there is so many great options for that summer to fall transition. I love a trench coat for something that's utility but also elegant. A field jacket is super casual and kind of like worn in vintage. A denim jacket is very classic and casual and definitely great if you have your favorite 
favorite summer one that you still want to wear. Me personally, loving menswear, I love a blazer. Or something that's really, really popular right now is a shacket. So it looks like a button-up shirt, but it's thick enough to feel like a lightweight jacket on top. It's really casual and cool and real lumberjack vibes. <laughs> this trifecta together is really, really easy because these basics like a t-shirt and a jeans is something you already have. Things you're probably rocking in the spring and summertime. Bring it into the fall season by just focusing on your favorite piece of statement outerwear and it looks so good and effortless every single time. And final tip number five is to pull in the fall accessories. A simple outfit would take on a whole new life if you inject like a plaid scarf in there. You can easily remix some of your favorite outfits by just adding a poncho or a cape, throwing on a cute little fedora or a felt hat. One of my favorite things to also do is to put all of my summer handbags away and then bring out all my favorite fall and winter ones. In the summertime, I'm focusing on straw, rattan, kind of like beachy lightweight bags. I put those in the back of the closet and bring out some of my velvets, suede, glitzy hardware. Changing up your accessories and layering them on together will definitely bring on the fall vibes and get you ready for the colder season. All right, you guys, so that does it for my five easy styling tips to transition your summer to fall wardrobe. I hope you guys find it helpful. Again, everything mentioned today will be down below in the description box. I love you guys so much. Have a blessed day out there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!